there, I'm Bill Davidson and welcome to Weller Truck. Today we're going to be delving into the FR Series transmission to uncover how it makes the 10 speeds. If you're looking for additional detailed information, go to www.wellertruck.com and look for Eaton's FR FRO service manual, TRSM 2400 and Eaton's driver instruction manual, TRDR 0515. Okay, here we have an FR series core. Uh, the front section has six gear sets, uh, five of them forward, one reverse. Uh, the rear section has two gear sets, one high range and one low range. Uh, the front section is controlled manually through the shift tower. The auxiliary section is controlled pneumatically through the Road Ranger valve. Now, before we get into how it works, it is really critical to understand and always remember to double clutch your lever shifts and pre-select your rain shift. Okay, let's connect the air supply to the transmission and we're gonna cover a couple of the basics externally. So right now the transmission shift lever is in neutral. So I can move it side to side. It's got a detent that brings it back to center. And if we come up to the front side of the transmission, when the engine's idling, the input shaft is always turning. The front box is constant mesh gearing. So as this idles, we'll end up having no output to the output yoke. Now I'm gonna place the transmission in a gear and we can hear it audibly shift in the front box. And here's what the pre-selection is. So the Fuller FR series is shifted in a typical age pattern. Now pre-selection is talking about the valve not allowing the transmission to make the pneumatic rain shift in the auxiliary section until the shift lever moves to the neutral state. So I'm gonna pre-select to high. We can hear the air pressure, but the transmission is not shifted in the auxiliary yet. This valve, as the transmission shift lever moves to the neutral state, it will automatically make that rain shift as you're progressively shifting into the next position. Now, let's remove the shift bar housing to have a clear view of what's going on internally in the transmission to visualize how the power from the engine is making it into the transmission to make those 10 speeds. Now that we got the top cover removed, let's visualize some of the components in this transmission. Right here we have the range rail that controls the high and low shift, the auxiliary drive or the high range gear, the reverse gear set, the first and sixth gear set, the second or seventh gear set, the third and eighth gear set, the fifth and tenth gear set, and then the fourth and ninth or direct drive gear set. This transmission is an FRO or overdrive. 
Uh, if it was a direct drive, what it would be is these two gears essentially would be swapped. So the drive gear would be a smaller diameter than the preceding gear. So the input shaft receives the horsepower and torque from the engine, then transitions to the main drive gear. So if we come closer and have a look, I have a couple parts from a disassembled FR series. This is the input shaft, it's splined on both ends. The input shaft splines directly into the drive gear. So anytime the transmit or the engine is running, the transmission is turning. So if we come in close, look at the front box. We can see that the front box is rotating with the engine. Power from the engine travels through the transmission's input shaft, rotating the main drive gear. The main drive gear meshes with the counter shaft driven gears, splitting torque evenly between both upper and lower counter shaft. The engaged main shaft gear then receives the torque via the sliding clutches. This will transition the torque to the auxiliary section. As the driver selects a gear, the corresponding gear ratio engages, altering the power through the transmission. This process repeats until the driver is completely shifted through all the available ratios. Now a very important tip here is never tow a vehicle with the driveline connected and the axles on the ground. So if we come in close, we'll shut the engine off so the front box is no longer rotating and delivering oil throughout the, the transmission and all the main shaft sliding clutches are in neutral. When the vehicle is towed with the driveline connected, if we look right here, the output is rotating and the main shaft is spinning at an extreme RPM. And this is moving very, very slow. So you can imagine, if this was being towed at road speed, the RPM that that main shaft would be turning over with no oil flow. Now here's a good visual example of a main shaft of an FR transmission that was towed with a vehicle driveline connected. The washers are discolored, the main shaft key has failed, reverse washer and reverse gear has a ton of heat to it. And this is because, yet again, the main shaft itself is spinning at an extreme RPM with no oil being delivered up to it. Thank you for tuning in as we uncover more of the inner workings of the FR series transmission. Stay tuned for more educational content from Weller Truck Parts. I'm Bill Davidson. Remember, when it comes to transmissions, trust the experts at Weller.